This video is on the MyWay I-201 version 2 and we are Precision Way and Balances, an authorized MyWay dealer and you can purchase the I-201 at balances.com. The I-201 version 2 comes in a brand new box. So MyWay has redid the outer box. You can see there's a nice picture of the I-201 and on the bottom highlighting the stainless steel tray overload protection and windshield protector and on the back of the box you can see my way highlights all the features this is 200 grams by a hundredth of a gram it mentions the weigh units that are available, um, how it has leveling feet so you can adjust the balance, has parts toning, 302 stainless steel tray, um, it has a 200 gram calibration weight which is included, runs off of four AA batteries, has programmable auto shutoff feature, and um, well-defined all of the features on the bots. So MyWay does a great job in packaging versus competitor brands. Most balances just come in a brown cardboard box and they don't highlight any of the features. So this is the new I-201 version 2 and we just like to show you we have an old version 1 here. The version, the version 1 um, had an LCD display, uh, basically the same four keys for the keypad, and it was 200 grams by a hundredth of a gram. So the weighing capacity and readability hasn't changed, but some of the features have, and we're going to cover that. The main difference is the display. So this is the new version 2 here. You can see that it comes with a windshield and you're able to open the windshield from the top and from the right or left side. This is a plastic windshield. Um, some people use it. We're going to remove it for this demonstration. The windshield prevents any kind of air disturbances uh, that could affect the weighing of the object. This is a scale that goes to a hundredth of a gram. So the first thing we'd like to try to highlight is um, how sensitive the scale is and how it can pick up um, small quantities of weight and how fast it uh, records it. So we'll put on a weigh dish and we already have a little bit of material on there. And what I want to show is I'm going to apply some more weight to the platform and you'll be able to see the response time. So we're just going to sprinkle, this is actually table salt that we're putting on the scale and the unit right now is in grams and you can see as I apply weight, the scale is pretty responsive. So that's table salt. Now let's go over the keys on this scale. So we have the red button. This is the on off. So when I power up the scale, it will go through the power up sequence. We have the units key for changing the unit of weight and also to put the scale in parts counting mode. We also have the Z key, which is the tear function to tear the weight of a container. And then we have the PCS, which is parts counting. Um, on the back of the scale, you will see there is a sprint level bubble so that you could adjust the balance so it's perfectly level. On the bottom of the scale, you will see there are four adjustable feet for leveling and the scale battery compartment is on the rear here and you will see now it is just 
four AA batteries. On version one it was six AA batteries, now it's only four AA batteries. Um, also, on the back of the balance is the AC adapter receptacle. The scale does come with the AC adapter. So again, most manufacturers, sometimes uh, the AC adapter is optional. With my way, they include it on the I-201. What also is included with this balance is a 200 gram calibration weight. This is needed to calibrate the balance. You will also receive a user manual. And my way has refined their product extremely well, giving you a detailed user manual explaining the scale and operation and all of the functions and how to configure the scale. Talking about each keypad and what those keys do, also explaining calibration. We're going to go through many of these uh, steps in this video. So, to power up the scale, one simply just presses the red icon and you can see the scale goes through a power up sequence. So, and as the scale goes, the scale goes to zero, zero, and we're all set. So, let's go through um, Terran. We'll explain what Terran is. So if I had a container, I'm going to put on the scale, and if I wanted to tear it out, I just hit the Z key. That tears the weight out of the balance. And again, this balance goes to a hundredth of a gram, so I might need to put on the breeze brake. And so I've teared out the container in the sample that's in that container right now. If I wanted to add more material and know what the weight is, I could just sprinkle it on. And now the new additional weight is shown. I could tear to the full capacity of the scale, which is 200 grams. Um, let's talk about now the weigh features all together. We can go into each weigh mode and go through it step by step. So, if we just press the units key, right now we're in grams, and you'll see the G here in the lower right hand corner. What I'm going to do is press the unit key. Now we're in ounces, milligrams, troy ounces, penny weight, um, and then we have uh, grains in pieces. And then we go back to grams itself. So to change the weigh mode, we can just hit the unit key. If we power down the scale, the scale will power back up in the last unit of measurement. So many other scales, they default back to grams. With the I-201, if we power down in ounces, it will power back up in ounces. Um, the scale does have a parts counting mode. I'd like to try to cover that kind of briefly. So the first thing to get into parts count in mode, we want to press the uh, units key until we see PCS. And so we have PCS right here. And now what we want to do is we want to press the um, PCS key and you will see displayed is, this is going to be 10, 20, 50, or 100. So we can do any of those three for a sample. And all we have to do, we're going to use 20 pieces as our sample. So let's go to, we're at 20. Now, we'd like to put on a weigh container. We don't want to pick off each of these pieces, and what we'll be using is paper clips. Standard paper clips that we bought at Staples. So we want to tear out the container for us. So what we're going to do, we place the container on the platform, and we're going to press the Z to zero out that weight. 
Now I've pre-counted 20 paper clips and I place those paper clips on to the weighing platform and I want to wait until I see and I have a stable reading which is right up here this icon here is the stability once I have the 20 pieces will press the units key and it will say pass and now it shows 20 and so if I take off a paper clip you'll see now it's 19 take off a second paper clip 18 take off a second paper clip 17 if I add one I add the next one, I add the next one. So there's our 20. Now, I'm gonna remove those paper clips, put my container back on. And I pre-counted, we have here 50 paper clips I put in this box. And so we'll see if the counting scale will record it, or the parts counting feature will record 50 paper clips. And there you go, our box is empty and we have 50 paper clips. So you can see the parts counting feature is very easy to use and you could um, count all kinds of parts. Uh, one rule of thumb I always have to say is the smallest part that you're counting should be four to five times the readability of the balance. So this balance goes to 0 0.01 grams. So your part should be at least 0 0.04 or 0 0.05 to use the parts counting function um, efficiently. Um, if you're trying to weigh rhinestones, a lot of people call us about weighing rhinestones. Why, uh, rhinestones have all different weights, so there's no way you're going to be able to count them. You need to have something that has a consistent weight. So paper clips, they have a a pretty tight tolerance and you can see it's easy to count the part. But if you have any kind of small nut or screw, there could be grease or oil on that nut or screw causing a variation in the weight. Um, let's go into calibration now. I want to show you how to calibrate the balance. Calibration is pretty simple and we'll go step by step. So the scale does come with a 200 gram cow weight. So the first thing I want to do is let's move, right now we're in parts counter mode, let's move it over to grams, we're in grams, and we want to shut off the balance. So the first thing for calibration we want to do is we want the balance off and we want to press the Z key while pressing the power key and then release. And you will see CAL. And then there's a number being displayed. This is just a random number off the A to D converter. And once we have the stability indicator on the display illuminated, and I'll try to point to that, that's this icon right here. The icon looks like an eye almost. Once we have that eye, once it's illuminated, that's saying that we have a stable weigh-in result. What we want to do um, is we want to press the Z key. So we're going to press the Z key, and what it's done now is it's stored the value with no weight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place the 200 gram weight on the center of the platform. And once again, we have that stable reading. We're just going to simply press the Z key you'll see all lines and then it goes to 200. The balance is now calibrated. What you want to do is you take the weight off, you can shut off the balance, turn the balance back on, the balance goes through its countdown mode, and then we can put on our 200 gram weight, and you can see the balance is right on the money. So again, calibration is very simple and um, just want to show you also there's a weigh meter here on the left hand on the right hand side of the display and that's showing you how much weighing capacity you have left on the balance 
and if we put this 200 gram weight on you can see it's very repeatable I take the weight off I'm putting it in each quadrant of the weighing platform so you have some idea of a of the eccentric loading and you can see this balance readability it's plus or minus 0.01 and it's right on the money balance performs extremely well this balance is marketed especially to the educational market a lot of people years ago used to buy the Ajo Stout the Ajo's product is a great product but it's very expensive the Stout is made in China well my way came along and it's really commanded the educational market Hobbyists also buy this scale. Very simple to use. People that um, want to do, will say, uh, formulation of adhesives, they would purchase this scale. So it's a great all around scale to use. Um, My Way comes with a lifetime warranty through the manufacturer, the longest warranty in the industry. And again, My Way really does command the market. So this is the MyWay I-201. We are Precision Way Imbalances. If you'd like to purchase one of these items, please visit our website at balances.com. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel or give us a thumbs up. Thank you.